Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week six in college football, and we're talking right now to Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Done a ton of videos with us this year, last year, years before. Had a great record and always gives us great advice every video. Right now we're going to cover an uh, interesting Nebraska-Michigan State game. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. Thank you, Peter. All right, so, uh, you know, our regular religious viewers know that you had a rough week last week, but that you're doing uh, pretty well overall in our videos, and you have a great record long-term with us. How did you do at your site last week? Yeah, no, uh, certainly in the 20 seven years I've been doing this. I've had some uh, rough weeks. Last weekend was one of them, despite a very nice start to the week on Thursday and Friday. But that's all right. We're ahead for the year, way ahead for the decade. We measure success by the quarter century, and we'll certainly have a huge week this week. In fact, I already got nine plays up in college football. We're going to take uh, five college games list right now, and the first one, Nebraska-Michigan State. Now, uh, this one, you know, Michigan State is a seven-point home favorite. That's down from eight. And this, of course, a revenge game for Nebraska, right? They got beat at home last year. They were kind of pissed off about it. They had a lot of turnovers in that one, and that's something that will probably, uh, you know, not happen again here. Nebraska has a very strong team this year, but so does Michigan State. So, you know, taking nothing away from Michigan State, uh, you know, and they're at home. Obviously, they have an advantage there. But I think you, because both teams are very strong this year and it's a revenge game, huge, huge game, I think you got to take Nebraska plus the points. Eight would be better than seven. But at seven, I think you got to take Nebraska at seven as well. Do you agree with that, Joe Duffy? No, sir, I do not. And in really? fact, I'm going to go okay. so far as to say – this is an actual premium play. You know, wow. sometimes okay. they're not uh, premium plays, uh, but this, in this case it is. Uh, one of the reasons, we've got a really strong momentum angle that we've been riding for years, and it's now 576 and 412, and I think it's roughly about a 58% winning percentage, but when you're talking about nearly 1,000 games, well, actually, I guess, let's see if you had it. Well, yeah, right about 1,000 games. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty darn impressive one. Now, Michigan State, obviously, they did lose at Oregon. That was a wise guy winner. That was one of our first of the year in the first weekend. But they've been really a Peter Principal team. And what we mean by a Peter Principal team is Michigan State, when they face superior teams, they've gotten slapped around. When they faced inferior teams, they've uh, crushed them. And they were the first. They were just the second team uh, last year and the first in 30 years to beat all nine conference opponents by double digits. They're doing it again this year. In fact, only one time in their last 14 has a game been decided by less than single digits, and that was in the Rose Bowl, so it wasn't a regular season game. So basically, Michigan State's, really the last two years, They've been beating up on inferior opponents, and we expect that to continue. But what about the people who would look at this game and say, uh, Nebraska's not really an inferior opponent here. You have, uh, you know, uh, uh, two quality teams, one, the, the, the road team coming in with revenge, so obviously it's going to be a huge yeah. game, and more likely than not, it goes down to the wire. So if it goes down to the wire, you're probably going to get a cover if you take Nebraska plus the points. No, Nebraska is the inferior team. They're not completely overmatched, but I don't think there's anybody that will tell you that even on a neutral field that Nebraska is equal. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're a very solid team, but they're a little bit overrated. I don't think Nebraska is as deep as Michigan State. As I said, Michigan State, they're certainly the, the class of the Big Ten. I mean, some might say Ohio State. I don't think that's the case. Michigan State, they're the best team in the Big Ten. And like I said, when they've played teams that they should beat they have been able to beat them soundly and even another sharpie who i i email some stuff with i sent him some of my best systems and uh he said yeah he was already on michigan state that was one of his three or four side selections that he already liked this week so a very valued opinion also agrees with me corroborated this pick so yeah nebraska they're a competitive team but no they're not in the class of michigan state Wow, Joe Duffy making a very compelling and interesting case for uh, Michigan State. Currently at minus seven. That is down a bit, but uh, we'll see where this line closes. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Classic, great, uh, insightful analysis. Thanks so much. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.